You are watching San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week, and I have Bradley Heinz joining us today. Welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for having me. A pleasure. A it's a pleasure to have you for 2022. You're still early. We have only had a few shows in January. I know. And the market is still super hot, isn't it? It is. It's not changed since 2021 at this point. No. It's, not really. Uh, it's, it's coming up. Yes. Yeah. The market's getting stronger. It is. It is getting stronger, and I think it's going to continue as we move on into, um, you know, getting closer to the summer months, of course. So I have a question for you. Yes. It's just a prediction, of course, because who knows mm -hmm. what will happen. But how much do you think the San Diego real estate market will appreciate in 2022? Okay, let me tell you two things. First, I want to tell you what I want to happen. Okay. And then I'll tell you what I think is going to happen and why. Okay. So what I'd like to have happen is I'd like for the market to just calm down, maybe drop by 5% per percent, and then let the folks who've been trying to get in find something. So that's what I'd like to have happen. Um, that's unfortunately, nice. Unfortunately, that's not what I'm seeing. No. Um, I've talked to a lot of people, and here's what they, they tell me. They say to me, you know what, the market's been going up, 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 and it can't keep, get, it can't keep going higher, right? And I like that way of thinking because it's logical. However, I think what we're running into is a lot like a person who's standing in a desert. It's dry. You're looking around. It's just cracked mud. And someone walks by and says, hey, you know what? This area is really wet normally. Usually it's flooding here. You're going to be drowning soon. And you think, okay, that makes sense if this is normally a wet area. But when you look around, you look and everything's dry. And mm -hmm. you realize that, well, first, I look up at the blue skies. I need to have clouds. The closest clouds need to make rain. The rain needs to soak into the water, uh, into the mud. Oh, the crack needs to fill up. Puddles need to uh, form. And then it needs to rise till it's about here so that I can drown, right? Mm -hmm. So it's possible, but a whole bunch of things have to happen for that to happen. So let's back up and look at what's happening with this market now. We're in the same spot where um, the number of homes in the market is so low, it's like that dry desert. Right now, we have 66 homes on the, on the market, new homes that have just come on. Two years ago, we had five times as many homes coming on, and at that time, it was a seller's market. Mm -hmm, right. So we're at a fifth of That's where we were at. So somehow we need to get enough homes, right, to kind of fill up the water level so that there's enough choice for people that they can relax a little bit and not make these huge offer prices. So let's talk a little bit about data on this because um, there's basically metrics that we follow, and I'm always looking at these metrics hoping that one of them will show that there's a weakness. And there actually one of them does. Um, but the metrics that we're seeing are number of homes. There's 66 new homes came on the market. Lowest number we've seen, I think, ever. Right. Um, and this is in, 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 North, in North County. Um, so that's super low. And then we also look at how much people are, are paying as a percent of the asking price, right? Are they, are they bidding for more? And right now, uh, last month we're at 103.7%, which is more than asking price, but it's the lowest number we've had in a year. Like it was 107 in the summertime, 108, and it looks like it's going back up. So that's not really going in the right direction. No. And then the next one is how many homes were sold versus how many came on? 66 came on, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. 147 homes were sold, which means anything out there was just grabbed and so that's going in the wrong direction. Right. The only thing that might be going in the right direction for a change is interest rates. Mm -hmm. They move from 3.11% to 3.45. So that's a bump up, right? If you're making a payment, that's more on your payment. The only bummer is that it's still below 4%, so it's a great rate. Mm -hmm. And people are going, oh my gosh, I have buyers who are like, I need to buy now before the interest rates go right. up. So it hasn't quite happened yet. So it looks to me like um, we're seeing 10% above asking price. Um, I've got a listing right now. I just checked in with a seller um, from another listing to see where theirs landed. And they had um, five offers. Looks like they're way over asking price. Oh, my. Just put in an offer uh, yesterday for a property. And it was about 5% over asking price. And our offer was not high enough to even get a counter offer. So it looks to me like we're seeing 10% over, and that's just for the first month going forward. Okay, so 10% at this point. Yeah. Okay, there yeah. you have it. Bradley Heinz's prediction for 2022 <laughs> at San Diego Market Movers Question of the Week. <laughs>